All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. All right, you ready? You ready? Let's well, go. good to have you with us, and right on time, I might add, as we get underway here at the O2 Arena in London, England. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Straight right, he misses. Oh! Lunges forward with a left there. He's just landing an outstanding leg kick. Oh, double jab there by Amir Khani. And he connects there, Joe. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. In full guard. And lands a good shot. He's pounding him. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Right hand upstairs! Just missed with the left there. These guys are swinging. Big Ooh, power in that hook. A huge hook there. Oh! Try to establish that jab. Here, Connie gets the takedown. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Big body punch. And he's back up again. Orthodox for much of the fight. He's going southpaw here, Joe. Amir Khani gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Amir Khani gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Trying to establish that jab once again. Now to go in the round. He tagged him with that right hand. In on a single here. And again, he lands another takedown there. So really scoring right. points here. And the takedowns are starting to pile up. Taking this fight exactly where he thought he could and exactly where he wants it to be. Ready? Round two here. He's definitely going to want to start this round off fast to try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Amir Khani gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Back and forth we go. Nice kick landed there by Makwan Amir Khani. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Amir Khani gets the takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. Tags him. Amir Khani's lower jaw now, Joe, started to show some signs of swelling. Back to the feet now. Well, most of the time when he has shot tonight, he has been successful. Look for him to try to set up another takedown here. Kick lands forward there. How about that shin? to the jab now, no good. Punch is blocked. There's that takedown attempt. And he gets the takedown again. Amir Khani gets caught with that punch. And busy as he looks to improve position here. In the full guard here. 
Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Relentless pressure from the top by Amir Khani. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. He got tagged there. Amir Khani gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Just over a minute to go, round two. Blocks the punch. That's Ooh, a hard a hook. Huge hook there, Joe. Vicious combo there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Back to half guard now. 30 seconds to go now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, he's back up again, you gotta like that. Seconds winding down in round two. Pretty good straight punch for him there, Joe. 10 minutes in the books. Third round underway. So far, phenomenal performance that we're so privileged to be able to watch. Flipped him with the jab. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Back and forth we go here! Huge uppercut misses. Oh, now going to the body with that hook. Nicely done there by Makwan Amir Khan. And there's the double leg takedown, Joe. That's his best shot by far. He's now working from full guard. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Good shot. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. Nice shot to the head. Back to the guard position. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. And the kick lands. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here. Left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. How about these two going at it? Amir Khani gets caught with that punch. He lands the head kick. Less than two minutes with which to work here. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Amir Khani. Whoa! Oh, and he's knocked down. Oh! Oh, look at it! A huge kick for the knockout victory. Oh, that was a no doubter, Joe. That might even impress the likes of Edson Barboza. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent tonight. He couldn't have caught him much more flush than that, Joe. Full force beautifully extends the leg right to the target, and that is the end of the fight. You gotta think his paycheck could be $50,000 richer after that highlight turned in here tonight. Check it out again. Lands perfectly, and that's the end. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution, and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliata has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 56 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, Arnold Almighty Allen! 
So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure. His next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight. All right, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Sean Gulip and Nick Diaz. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's well, thanks for showing up on time as we get underway here tonight at the world-famous O2 Arena in London, England. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Nice punch by Lim. Everything Lim throws with fight-ending intentions. Nice jab by Diaz. Beautiful combination there. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Diaz. That one hurt. Again. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. That punch will work right through the guard. Pretty strong jab there by Lim. Back to the straight punch here, Joe, it's good. Lim gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. That's a nice clean shot. Oh, effective use of the jab by Lim. Diaz's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Goes to the body there. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Lim. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Snaps off the jab effectively there. Nice punch there by Lim. 90 seconds and counting here in our opening round. Lim gets caught with that punch. He's doing a great job of timing these shots. Nice jab by Diaz. Blocks the shot. Nice. Diaz gets in the clinch. And he pummels out of it. Nice hook shots to the body here in the clinch, and those have some sting on them. Nice work by Lim. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. There's a good knee to the body. Oh, he's got to be careful here. Nice punch there by Lim. Boy, Ty Plump. He lands a knee here. Going foot stop here, Joe. Good body shot. Round two next. Stop. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two is underway. All right, so second round underway. Little bit of a feeling out process, I guess, in that first round. Entertaining action on both sides. Nothing that wowed the crowd necessarily, Joe, but your thoughts ultimately on what we saw over those first five minutes. Nick Diaz has perhaps the best cardio in the UFC today. A regular triathlon competitor. He's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and has world-class boxing skills. Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attack. Oh, look at him snap off the jab. That's pretty to watch. Beautiful employment of the jab here. Right-left combo by Diaz. 
And both guys really throwing with authority. Just over three minutes now to go. Big punch. And speed, man. Just oh, misses there with the right. Punch. Oh, huge right hand. He's in big, big trouble here. And now start to snap off that jab. Big shot. Lands a nice one, too. Big oh, right hand. He blocked him with that right hand. The left hook hits home. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. And he's looking for that left. Landed that one. Oh! Big shot kick. to the head. He's oh. stunned. He is hurt here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. How about that chin? Oh, and he continues. Oh, man. he's rocked. This could be it. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Hard hook. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Eats a, a nice right hand. Diaz gets caught by the straight punch. He lands an excellent combination. Showing that punch. Well, he gets cracked to the head there, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's almost moving into the strike at this point in time. You got to get that head off the center line. 15 seconds. Takes him down. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. And that's the end of round number two. Third round underway. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue... Oh! 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 He's in big, big trouble. He is getting off some huge punches here. He's got double underhooks, Joe. Pummels out of double underhooks here. Double underhooks now, Joe. Diaz gets the over-under now. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. Oh, Diaz's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. And separate. He's fainting with that punch, oh! showing that punch. Wow! Big body shot! This could be it right here. Big left. Just misses with the jab. Good exchanges from both fighters. Under three minutes to decide this one. He missed with that jab. Oh! oh, he might be out. He's in big, big trouble. Continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't get it. Oh! He's got to be careful here. He's in trouble. Big, Big body shot. Body. Misses a huge hook to the head. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt. Gigantic right hand for the KO. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. Joe landed flush, and I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. Great angle here. Boom! And that is all she wrote.
Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. And here once more with the official decision is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 39 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Nick Diaz! Nick Diaz there in all his glory, ladies and gentlemen. It will probably be a subdued celebration as usual, but make no mistake about it. This was a big win here tonight and a very impressive performance across the board out of Nick Diaz. Perhaps his next fight will be for the UFC welterweight title. All right, coming up next, it's a bantamweight matchup between Frankie Signs and Eddie Wineland. Here you go, first one, you ready? You ready? Let's well, the United go. Kingdom boasts some of the most passionate MMA fans in the world, and they have packed the nines tonight. Good to have you with us as we get underway here at the O2 Arena in London, England. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Welcome to the jungle. Oh, nice punch there by Frankie Sides. Tries for a low single. And there's the single. Tags him with the left. Landing some big punches from this position. Excellent posture. Good punch. Switching stances here. Nice inside leg kick. And there he swung with a haymaker. Just over three minutes to go now. One, two there by Eddie One. Oh man, defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving oh, forward. Oh, huge right hand. He's in a lot of trouble. Nice takedown. He's working from half guard now. Big Beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. Right back in a full guard. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Going orthodox now. That oh, one appeared to stun him. He heard him. Hard left hand. He's in big trouble. And he doesn't get it. Well, he established the jab early and going right back to the well here. How about that chin? Nice kick to the body. Good body work with that hook by one. And he che he's checking every single one of those. Straight punch gets through. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Oh! Man! Oh, very nice. What a round. Second round underway. Starting off this round, you got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. Wineland comes from a wrestling background, and he has knockout power in his hands. He's also got a lot of experience. He was the very first WEC back the champion, so he's been competing at this level for years. He misses with a Superman punch here. To show you... 
The total strikes. Oh, another stiff jab here. That's about as good as it gets with that weapon. Very nice leg kick there by Signs. Oh, slips and then rips him. How about the upper body movement there? He landed that inside leg kick. Those punches are very hard. Big hook to the head. Wyland's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Good job landing that series of punches here. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Signs goes for the takedown. He misses. Effective punch there by Eddie Wineland. Hand speed, man. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Joe, he was looking to land the leg kick there, unable to connect. Oh! He's hurt here. Nice leg kick. Straight right hand, no good. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. That one hurt. Back and forth we go! Oh, he missed that kick. Signs gets tagged by the kick there. He couldn't have liked that too much, Joe. Oh, misses with the jet. the punch nicely there. Look at this, takedown! 30 seconds now to go in the round. Slides him over and nice reversal here. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. And he's back in the guard. And that's the end of round number two. Here we go, now five minutes remain in the fight. Oh, he just continues to land with a high volume of strikes here. Not unlike the previous round, Joe, and at least if his body language is any indication, he is not slowing down whatsoever. Slightly deflected. Signs gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. Misses the takedown. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches in bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of there. Clean punch. Nice combination of strikes there by Frankie Sines. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the last. Whoa! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. He's gotten hurt here. They continue to exchange. Three minutes to go in round three. Oh, oh man! He's hanging on here, but he is in big, big trouble. Ball goes in and secures the takedown. Punch by Eddie One. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Oh, nice strike for him on the ground here, Joe. Big punch from the bottom. Oh, he's beating him up here. Excellent movement here on the ground. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Signs. Lands to the body there. Pummels into double underhooks. Keep Keep 90 seconds to go in our third and final round. Tying him up here in the clinch. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Mixing it up beautifully. Hook shots to the body, the weapon now. And they move out of the clinch. 
So clock starting to become a factor here. Oh, he's locked. Oh, he got clipped there. He got hurt. Big body shot. shot. Body. Nice takedown. All right, so somehow, some way, he survives to hear that final horn. But he, in all likelihood, is not going to have his hand raised here tonight. There should be a clear winner in this one. He knocked his opponent down multiple times in the fight. And you got to think that's enough to get him the nod from the judges in this one. Round three, this is the shot that clearly stuns him right there. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Eddie Weinland. Well, he didn't get the finish. He has to settle for the decision nod, but you can be sure he will take it after a pretty outstanding performance here tonight. Doubles up his money, gets the win money as well, and also has set himself up now for a massive fight moving forward. So congratulations to that young fighter on one of the biggest wins of his UFC tenure here tonight. Coming up next, it's a light heavyweight matchup between Alir Latifi and Mauricio Shogun Hua. You ready? You ready? Fight. And we are underway. So here is the former champion Shogun Hua. He really has added to his legend late in his career. Early in this fight, we'll see how he approaches it. Strong starter in the past. We'll see if that holds true tonight. Joe, your thoughts on what we'll see in this matchup tonight? Mauricio Shogun Hua can do it all, but his knee strikes are one of his best weapons. And he switches his stance yet again. Doing a good job timing his shots here and landing a great series of punches. Nice jab there by Latifi. They're certainly getting after it early. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Nice punch there by Hua. Boy Thai Plum now, Joe. Oh, knee to the body here in the clinch. Hook to the head there by Latif. Just over three minutes to go round one. He hit him with the hook. Latifi gets double underhooks, Joe. Look at that. Nice. Threw him right over. Full side controls. Big punch from the top. Now he's working from north-south. Able to land the single ground strike there. He's got half guard. Two minutes remain in the round. And he executed a very nice sweep here and wound up in guard. Good shot to the body. Working on a guillotine. The tight guillotine. That is a tight guillotine. Wow. Half guard. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, pretty good work here from the bottom, Joe, as he tags him with that punch. Back to half guard. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his act. Inside control, tying up that arm, looking for the Kimura. He's got that arm locked. I believe he's in all kinds of trouble now. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, and my God! Round was almost over, but he sunk in the submission and got the victory.
Well, yeah, Joe, you could tell he was going to stop at nothing to leave the judges out of this one here tonight. He was focused on getting the win and getting it by submission. And you saw him in hot pursuit of it much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. Then there was an opening there late, largely caused by a beautiful setup, and the submission comes late in the round. High-level stuff there. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 24 seconds of the very first round. We're playing the winner by top out due to a Kimura. The celebration is on in the corner after the big submission win here tonight. He told us during fight week that he needed to prioritize a finish here. Decisions were not going to be enough to take his career where he wants to take it and expeditiously. So, gets the submission tonight. Now the celebration is on. There got to be few things in all of pro sports as satisfying than to be able to celebrate a UFC win with your coaches and training partners. And thankfully for this young man, now that is all that is left to do. All right, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Leon Edwards and Gunnar Gunny Nelson. All right, you ready? You ready? Let's go well, no it. shortage of UFC history has been made within these very walls. Good to have you with us as we get underway here at the O2 Arena in London, England. Nelson turned pro in 2007 when he was 19 years old. Opens with the inside leg kick. Nelson gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. With conviction to the body. Oh, head kick. Effective punch there by Nelson. That one hurt. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Edwards. Wow. Damaging strike there. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You've got to get that head off the center line. Oh, nice. Under three minutes remain in round one. Nelson gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, big kick. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Look Nelson. Look at that. Nice. Two minutes now to go in round one. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Nice. <laughs> Missed that shot. Oh, effective strike there by Edwards. Straight right hand now just misses. Straight right is there. It appears that cut is getting worse. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Nice punch. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Straight punch there again. Been there all night. With the, oh, the horn sounds for the end of round one. Saved by the bell. That's the end of the round. You hear the horn, and it came just as he was stunned by a huge shot right before the end of the round. So, stay by the bell. Back to the stool. 60 seconds with which to recover. 
over. We'll see if this corner can keep his head in the fight. How about that, Shen? See the total strikes. Really swung for the fence. Out of range with that right hand. Big body kick. Oh, nice jab by Nelson. Oh, and he hit a front kick. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say this. Same here in the second round. He has really picked up pace, an uptick in the aggression. Big kick to the head. He's stunned. He's got to be careful there. Don't rush in. Body kick. Look at that. Oh, he might be out. Oh. Oh, he connects there. Just over two minutes out of going. Starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Well, he eats the punch to the head there, Joe, and he would be wise to get his head off of that center line. It's almost as if he's moving straight into that punch. Caught him with a punch. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Nelson. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Oh! seconds to go round two. First takes it down and tap is there. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Nice round, guys. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Third round underway. Now starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. Well, just as he did in the previous Continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Huge uppercut misses. Nelson gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Good one, that 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 Throws a big run. Oh! oh! He is clearly in big, big trouble. Really missed with that right hand. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he sure oh! Moved in the half guard. 
again. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw offense. Staying busy here, you'd like to see that, Joe. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. from the judges, a most dominant effort of that fighter here tonight. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three pounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for the decision. All three judges for the contest. 30-27. him up with next. Big win for him here tonight. All right, coming up next, a welterweight tilt between Jorge Masvidal and Darren Till. Round one. All right, ready to go round one, and as usual, so is Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. This is a man who has seen it all. Totally unfazed by anything that could be coming his way. The majority of his UFC fights have gone the distance, but we have seen an uptick in aggression lately as he's moved into welterweight contention. Another big one for Gamebred tonight. Oh, nice punch there by Till. All right, first round is underway. We'll see how long it takes for him to find a home for these patented, powerful overhand punches. Always a big weapon of his on fight night. We'll see how soon he can get it going tonight. That one hurt. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Darren Till. Good exchange there. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So, let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Nice jab by Game Break. Effective punch there by Till. Nice inside leg kick. Effective strike there by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Looking for the left hook. Oh, he oh, tagged him. He tagged him. He's got him hurt here. Big he body shot. shot body. Oh, very nice. Oh. Big spinning back fist land. Side 
control. Full mount. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Big shot from the bottom. Oh, that's a good strike there by Till. Final seconds of round one. Excellent movement on the ground. Right. Here. Always trying to better his position. Four seconds for the end of round one. Second round on the road. Now, starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. Hill's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Gainbright gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, tagged him. Hand speed, man. Total strikes. Shot is blocked. Good combination so far from both men. Oh, I missed with that right here. Nice. Oh, he nailed him. He is in deep danger right now. Deep danger. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. That's a big hook. Just over three minutes to go. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Under three minutes to go here in round two. Nice. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Game Greg gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Back to the left hand now, but unable to connect, Joe. And he lands a very nice combination. Flush right hand is true. Strike landed there by Darren Till. The cut on his face yeah, is looks getting like nasty. Oh, he's oh. oh. He's to the face. He is rocked right here. He's trying to stay up. Oh, oh he, he landed there, there Joe. Joe. Huge uppercut misses. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Till. Oh, big shots. He's fainting with the punch. Some nice back and forth action here. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Good knees. Someone's going to sleep in this round. Wow! He's got him right here. Big shots! Oh! Joe Hughes. Oh! He got him. He's badly, badly hurt. There's a nice inside leg kick. This fight is dangerous.
excellent timing here. Big left hand for the victory. Yeah, Joe, just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Great angle here. Bang. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Oh, we now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has, has the, the official contest decision. Contest at two minutes, 21 seconds of the third round. We play the winner by knockout, Derek So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout out to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward, but you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight.